Yeah, and like I said before, you can't roll as you're carrying this thing. Can't I just... Yeah. I thought so. So you need to get back up to um, the mountain village, you know, the place with only one building, and you get back up there. And you gotta do it before the bomb on this timer runs out. You can see that fuse is getting pretty short there. So we might have to go back and get another one. But if I do, I'll just off-screen that. Hopefully I don't, but... Yeah, and then you gotta cross all these bridges to get back over there. Now on the map, you can see on the left side, there's a piece of land stretching upward around the left side of the map. Well, that's where you have to get to on this screen. And... And you'll have more of this throwing the bomb up the hill. Not like that! Are you kidding me? Thank you. Oh my god. I'm not sure I'm going to get this in time. Oh. Okay, we almost got it. We almost got it. Just just pick it up, please. Ah! Oh my god, we're so close. Okay, pick it up. Oh my god. I'm not doing that right. Okay. Thank god. Oh. 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 I'm so relieved. Man, I only had a few seconds left on that. Come on, if we don't hurry, the race will start. Oh, well, how... You're gonna have to go tell the other Gorons that I opened it up, unless they've been inside all this time. I don't know, I didn't pay attention to the dialogue. <laughs> because I was LPing, so... It's not a good idea to do it on your second your second playthrough of your life, to be LPing it. So you never pick up on what you missed the first time. Yes, so we're gonna race. And this is fun, this is fun as hell. Yo, in Chrono Trigger, race a guy named Johnny, but in Majora's Mask, you race as Dramani. False start. <laughs> no. I definitely took off too soon there, though. It's like those races in uh, Diddy Kong Racing. Half of those bosses that you have to race in that game take off way before the timer gets to zero. Especially that dragon. I remember he takes off like two whole seconds. And then you gotta sit there and catch up to him. Yeah, I don't have this track memorized too well. I've only played through it, you know, the one time, and I won almost instantaneously, like on the second try. Shoot. Yeah, like I said, if you fall a little bit behind, it's not a big deal. You can still win. But it's just... Shoot, I had to readjust my thumb on the joystick. I don't know what I was thinking, man. Okay, stay away from the ramps and the summoner. There, see, that was better. It's just a lot faster if you don't hit the ramps. Okay, we're almost there. Do we have a chance here? Do I have a chance in hell? I don't know if I do or not. Just stay to the inside. Stay to the inside! Ooh, 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 I think we might have it. We might have it. Hit him, hit him, yes, yes! Well, he hit me too. Oh, man. Refill my magic here. Yes! Woo! Awesome. Man, I don't know what I'm going to do about editing this video. That was great! I knew you were the fastest Goron, damn it! I was sure you'd get first place. I thought I said damn it at first. This is from Daddy. And it's a bottle of gold dust! More importantly, it's a bottle! Yeah! So, uh... Now, you might not know what to do with that, unless you've already talked to the, uh... Swordsmith. But now... Oops! Gorons don't like water. Remember that. Haha. <laughs> Oh, it turns me back into Link again. Okay. Well, Link likes water. Or at least he can handle it. Oh my god, there's fish in here! Good lord, this place should have stayed frozen. Ah! That's not nice. Well, what the heck did I just do? Oh, I can't get up the mountain there. Oh, well, tell me I can get up there. Oh, jeez. I think there's something actually down here, but you probably have to be a Zora to do it. Oh, spoilers. <laughs> You can see rupees down there. Oh my god, there's a chest down there. Holy shit. Oh my god, I want it. Don't anybody tell me what's in there. I don't want to know. <laughs> uh, somebody will probably say it anyway. It's okay if you do. I don't care. Alright. So let's try that again. I'm not even going to bother changing into a Goron. But somebody told me there's actually another hot spring. Like in winter. You know how I was trying to bring the hot spring water down here to melt the elder off? Well, there's actually another hot spring down this hole. If you, uh, I guess, you, well, you, it was covered in ice, though. You'd have to use the spring water to melt the ice. And if you can get that far with it, you might as well just go ahead and melt the elder with it. Where did I... Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway. 
Yeah, I, I just realized I went the wrong way again, but it's okay because there's actually something else I need to do here anyway. So I'm just going to stop out here real quick and do this. So, hope you don't mind. I need to get back here and do this anyway. Why did I take... Oh, yeah, because I had to jump. Once you've actually successfully taken the powder keg up to the rock and blown it up, then you go back and talk to this guy, and he'll give you... basically permission, I guess, to actually use them. So, now that you have permission, you'll be able to buy them in Clocktown at the bomb shop from the Goron, who's there. So that's kind of cool. Wait, where does this go? On the map, it looks like it goes nowhere. Yeah, I, I am almost out of time here, man. I, I've got to be out of time. Uh, I'm trying to find my way around. Jeez, I get lost so easy in here. Here we go. Oh, don't go up against the wall now. We were doing so good. Okay. In we go. Now, I was trying to get across here, that's why I screwed up earlier, and then when I went back, I just went back the way I came. Like I said, I get lost in here so easy. Just don't fall in the water. Okay. Now that we're back here again, finally, we can get our sword reforged. Now, I'm definitely stopping the video once I get that done. Did I just break the sign with my ass? Holy crap. Okay. Into the door we go. Yeah, customer. Fetch our customers some coffee. Alright, to reforge your sword, it costs you 100 rupees. Well, we got that. That's why I got the 100 rupees at, in the last video. So, yes. I'll do it. You have to actually get it forged to the, uh... To the one... Uh, to the... Uh, okay, you know how... God! Man, why is it so impossible to explain things sometimes? Okay, he forges the sword into a better version. A version that will... Go... A version that will run out once you've used it a hundred times, right? But, he reforges it also into a permanent version of that sword. But, you have to reforge it into the temporary one before you can get the permanent one. Okay, how about that? Does that make any sense? <laughs> God. Okay, so... Yes. Lucky thing it was night time. Now we got the Razor Sword. This is the one that breaks if you use it a hundred times. And you have to forge it into that form before he'll do it... To, before he'll make it into the next one. So anyway, talk to him again. And, uh... It'll give you an option to, uh... It'll do that thing where you have to use an item in the middle of the dialogue. So, press start. Bring up the gold dust. Gold dust woman. I don't know what the word is before gold dust woman in the song gold dust woman. Or else I would sing it. I think it's scatter gold dust woman, but I'm not sure. Okay, come back tomorrow morning. See, this is why you have to beat the boss on the first day to do this. Because you have to beat the boss to get the powder keg. And you have to beat the pow You have to use the powder keg to blow up the thing. You have to get in there to actually do the races. Oops. And you have to win the races to get the gold dust, and you have to use the gold dust to get the sword. So you have to basically get the gold dust on the first day. Because, like, each forging takes a full day's passing to do, and you have to do both of them in the same cycle, which is why you have to have it stretched across the same three days to actually do it, you know. So we're on the night of the second day now. I was lucky I only had to play the song once last time because I was at the night, so now I have to play it twice to get to the third day. And on the third day, we will have our sword ready. I don't believe this. Yay! This is going to be one of the hardest editing jobs I have to do yet because I don't know how the hell I'm going to do it. What I'm going to show from that goat fight, that got fight, because there was nothing to show, really. Okay, and there you go. You get the Gilded Sword, which is your level 2 sword. And it is quite a bit more powerful than the first one. It's excellent. It's got a lot more range, and it looks cool. It looks really cool. You wouldn't expect to see a sword so... fancy-looking. You know, in a Zelda game, usually they're just shiny. They're not usually, like, you know, all snazzy like this one is. 
with the red diamonds and stuff on it. Why do I always do that? Okay, yes, I'm gonna save here. Uh-huh. Okay, I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Majora's Mask. Oh my god. See ya. Yeah.